3.6 The Shapes of Molecules and Ions Molecules are three-dimensional and they come in many different shapes. You have seen that electrons in molecules exist in pairs in volumes of space called orbitals. You can predict the shape of a simple covalent molecule, for example, one consisting of a central atom surrounded by a number of other atoms, by using the ideas that each pair of electrons around an atom will repel all other electron pairs. The pairs of electrons will therefore take up positions as far apart as possible to minimize repulsion. This concept is called the electron pair repulsion theory. Electron pairs may be a shared pair or a lone pair. The shape of a simple molecule depends on the number of pairs of electrons that surround the central atom. To work out the shapes of any molecule, you first need to draw a dot and cross diagram to find the number of pairs of electrons. If there are two pairs of electrons around the atom, the molecule will be linear. The furthest away from each other the two pairs can get is 180 degrees apart. Beryllium chloride, which is a covalently bonded molecule in the gas phase, despite being a metal non-metal compound, is an example of this. If there are three pairs of electrons around the central atom, they will be 120 degrees apart. The molecule is planar and is called trigonal planar. Boron trifluoride is an example of this. If there are four pairs of electrons, they are furthest apart when they are arranged so that they point to the four corners of a tetrahedron. This shape with one atom positioned at the centre is called tetrahedral. Methane, CH4, is an example. The carbon atom is situated at the centre of the tetrahedron with the hydrogen atoms at the vertices. The angles here are 109.5 degrees. This is a three-dimensional, not planar, arrangement, so the sum of the angles can be more than 360 degrees. The ammonium ion is also tetrahedral. It has four groups of electrons surrounding the nitrogen atom. The fact that the ion has an overall charge does not affect this shape. If there are five pairs of electrons, the shape usually adopted is that of a trigonal bipyramid. Phosphorus pentachloride, PCl5, is an example. And finally, if there are six pairs of electrons, the shape adopted is octahedral, with bond angles of 19 degrees. An example might include sulfur hexafluoride, SF6. Now, some molecules have unshared lone pairs of electrons. These are electrons that are not part of a covalent bond. The lone pairs affect the shape of the molecule. Always watch out for the lone pairs in your dot and cross diagram, because otherwise you might overlook their effect. Ammonia and water are good examples of molecules where lone pairs affect the shape. Ammonia has four pairs of electrons and one of the groups is a lone pair. With its four pairs of electrons around the nitrogen atom, the ammonia molecule has a shape based on a tetrahedron. However, there are only three arms, so the shape is that of a triangular pyramid. Another way of looking at this is that the electron pairs form a tetrahedron, but the bonds form a triangular pyramid. 
The angles of a regular tetrahedron are all 109.5 degrees, but lone pairs affect these angles. In ammonia, for example, the bonding pairs of electrons are attracted towards the nitrogen nucleus and also the hydrogen nucleus. However, lone pair is attracted only by the nitrogen nucleus and is therefore pulled closer to it than the shared pairs. So repulsion between a low pair, lone pair of electrons and a bonding pair of electrons is greater than that between two bonding pairs. This effect squeezes the hydrogen atoms together, reducing all the H and H angles. The approximate rule of thumb is 2 degrees per lone pair, so the bond angles of ammonia are approximately 107 degrees. In case of water, there are four pairs of electrons around the oxygen atom, so, as with ammonia, the shape is also based on a tetrahedron. However, two of the arms of the tetrahedron are lone pairs that are not part of a bond. This results in a V-shaped or angular molecule. As in ammonia, the electron pairs form a tetrahedron, but the bonds form a V-shape. With two lone pairs, the HOH angle is reduced to 104.5 degrees. Chlorine tet tetrafluoride ion. There are four bonding pairs of electrons and two lone pairs. One of the lone pairs contains an electron that has been donated to it. So the charge on the ion is negative, minus one. This electron is shown as a square in the dot and cross diagram. This means that there are six pairs of electrons around the chlorine atom, four bonds and two lone pairs. The shape is therefore based on an octahedron in which two arms are not part of the bond. As lone pairs repel the most, they adopt a position furthest apart. This leaves a flat surface square-shaped square ion described as square planar. The lone pairs are above and below the plane, as shown in the textbook. So to summarise, with repulsion increasing, this is the order of the different combinations of lone pairs. With the lowest repulsion, a bonding pair and a bonding pair. A slightly high repulsion can be seen between a lone pair and a bonding pair. And finally, the highest level of repulsion will be always observed between a lone pair and another lone pair.